Hello, my name is Nima Malik Manish. I'm the Product Marketing Manager and Senior Engineer for Dreamcatcher. And today we're here to discuss the Dreamcatcher platform as a slow motion replay device. The first thing we realized when we started researching in the replay industry was that there was an entire group of operators who knew a single type of system. So we realized we had to make the controller very similar for them to use. The next thing we did was create a very intuitive touch interface for new operators. A new operator can sit down in front of the system, drag content over by touching the touch screen, scrub back and forth, similar to what they would do on YouTube, and start doing a live production without having to learn complicated button presses. To accommodate live production events that can have varied lengths of time, our system has a continuous loop record. The system is always recording. Operators mark off little areas and clips that they want to protect, but the system never runs out of a record train. It continually records over itself. The next element that's completely revolutionary to our system is a distributed federated database. What does that mean? That means as our system records content, all of the systems are connected over a 10 gig network, meaning any operator can access content from any other system like it's their own. There's no making local, there's no grabbing other people's record trains. Every piece of content is available for every operator to use as they were their own. Next, we wanted to make sure that the heart of a replay system, the slow motion playout, was very smooth as well. We spent a great deal of time optimizing our algorithms to make sure when an operator is slowing down content and playing that on air, that content looks great. That content looks like it's being played at full speed. One of the benefits of our distributed architecture is something called scrub mode. One of the complaints we got from our operators was they were looking at their primary channels and missed things on their back channels. As the operator goes through their output and starts scrubbing back, your input's tied to that output so you can see exactly what happened on channels five and six. So you can put your primary channel on, go quickly on your scrub mode, see what happened on all of your angles, and then get the next best angle on air very quickly. Our multi-angle clipping feature allows a single operator to clip every angle across the entire network. Doesn't matter if those angles are being recorded on their system or another system, they can clip the angles like their own angles. They can also name, tag very easily across every angle on every single system. In addition to that, we've created tools like unlimited clip naming. So your operators don't have to have keywords for naming clips. They have an unlimited number of characters where they can name. This allows a single operator to have a lot more control and power than they would have before. One of the great tools that we've added is a graphical interface for naming and tagging. An operator can actually bring in all of the rosters have familiar keywords and tags available. So with single button presses, they can actually name and tag very quickly. So they can get back to doing what they want to do, which is putting replay on air and creating highlights. As you're getting to these large distributed systems, you have to provide tools that make searching and finding content very easy. Operators can start typing in and our system will automatically search across every single system connected on the network. It would also give them suggestions of players that they want to look at every alternate angles of those clips that they're searching. This gives operators a very easy tool to find content sitting anywhere in the network without having to slow down the speed of their production. One of the major functions of a replay system is to allow operators to create quick video highlights. Whether it's a highlight pack of all the best hits, all the best goals of an event, an operator has to be able to grab content, put it into a playlist, edit that playlist, and put it on air very quickly. Operators can now do everything the same way they did before, but they can drag and drop content into a playlist. They can put content anywhere in the playlist as opposed to just the beginning or end. With our system, you can actually drag a playlist into a clip slot and the system will automatically flatten it with your video and audio edits in place. You can even roll playlists from another operator's position through your system without having to make it local with transitions in place. All of these features make it easier for operators to get highlights on there. As productions are getting larger and operators are getting more camera angles, organizing content becomes a challenge. With our system, we've created something called a bin organization. Operators can create bins, tag or name those bins, and a system can automatically parse information into those bins or they can drag and drop content into those bins. One of the other benefits of bins is the ability to tie exports to those bins. If I have to deliver content to a web producer or my mobile, I can actually tie in our transcoding engine to the bin so our system can automatically transcode it and send it to the location that they need. 
The benefit of a distributed system allows us to transcode content from any system. You don't have to have a dedicated system on a network to allow your transcoding, which becomes a bottleneck. So your operators are creating archives. Automatic exports can happen in the background. As your system gets busy, our system can actually farm out jobs to other systems on the network that aren't as busy. Our system can import every major codec as well and automatically flip the codec and also the video standard. If you have a truck that's sending you 1080p content and you're in a venue and you're operating 720p, our system will convert that automatically for you. And then at the end of the night, if you're sending content back to that truck and you're operating 720p, you can convert that to 1080p for them. So it's very simple for our system to transcode across the entire network. As you're bringing in larger files, it's very important to have an ability to play that content out before the file is completely in. Our OmniPlay feature allows you to roll content on air as that content is being imported in. Because of our distributed transcoding engine, all of our transcodes are better in real time, so you're never going to reach the end of that import while your content's playing back on air. The other benefit of our distributed architecture and also our transcoding engine is an operator of one station can transcode content on any other station. As they're doing their own transcodes, they can actually export and archive the back channels that are being recorded on all the other systems. So in reality, a single operator in your entire network can name, tag, clip, and export for the entire network. The real goal of the Dreamcatcher platform was to increase the value of your live production. Our Emmy award-winning zooming tracking features are available at every operator station. Every operator can zoom in on the angles to show the best angle to the end user. Every operator can track place. If something happened behind a scene, your operators can actually zoom on any portion of the content and make that content clearer for the end user. Another advanced feature is our split screen feature. Because of our distributed architecture, one operator has access to all of the record trains. This allows them to actually tile windows, two, three, or four simultaneous windows, and scrub those in sync. And you could do this from every single operator station. You no longer have to tie up your TD to do a split screen functionality. And our system will automatically align the frames so you know you're putting the same frame across multiple angles on air together. The system is very quick, reliable. It's something that's going to make your production better and allow your storyteller to tell a better story. To get a more immersive look at our replay production line, please visit the Everts website at everts.com and visit the live production page. There you can see case studies and some of the customers that are using our platform and other tools that are going to make your production better. Thank you for your time today.